as human beings, we try to seek support from our friends and our families, right? So when offering support, whether for loss of life, like a family member or loss of a job or like um, a breakup, anything like that. Um, and right now, you know, with everything that's going on, a lot of people have a lot of loss. I would say, you know, we should look at how the people that we're offering support to, how they grieve. So there are some people who grieve by being alone. They rather be alone. There are some people who would like for you to be there with them, just to be there for them. There are others who act as if it never happened. And I would just suggest that for all of these people, let them know that you are there for them. And you ask them, how would you want me? How do you want me to be there for you? Okay. Another thing that I have personally experienced is um, when you go through something, like a simple example, I am not a person who, I have a very high pain threshold and I, and I believe that stress and loss, we, we have thresholds for that. So how you or and I um, experience something is not necessarily how another person will. So for me, I have a very high pain threshold. How about my toe? Some people will cry, I won't, I'll just, breathe very deeply and know it will pass and just get through it um some people tears come out of their eyes and you you understand what i'm saying so the point that i'm trying to make here is the fact that it's the same with loss just some of us it's like we're ceramic plates while others are paper plates um so what one person can manage it's like this if you put the same load on a paper plate versus a ceramic plate clearly the paper plate will not hold as well as the ceramic plate right and that's the concept that we have to be very mindful of um other people and how they handle things i know personally i have been like oh my gosh i've been through this before why is that person taking it so hard but um that's not the way to go we have to be very compassionate and i'd like to just share with us sometimes when jesus himself had compassion there's a story of the woman at nain when her son died and he and as um luke 7 said he has he had compassion on her and he um, told her not to weep and he helped to um no he didn't help he actually raised her son from the dead um mark 5 he had compassion compassion on the man who had um de who was demon possessed and he ran the demons out of him and then in um mark 8 he had compassion on, on the hungry multitude that was one of the multitudes that he fed he had compassion on them um as well as jesus himself experienced loss when um lazarus died that was one and another when jesus wept there was a specific situation in which, which it stated that jesus wept so we can see that as you know there's a verse that says that he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities meaning he's touched with whatever we go through he understands he's been through it and um i would just say silence is golden a lot of times we want to tell people how to act in situations we want to um dictate to them how they should handle this how they should handle that breakup how they should handle that work loss how they should handle that loss of a friend or loss of a family member and i would just say to us silence is golden in most of the, those situations and if we could just sit there and be there for them that says a lot if you could cook a meal if you could just go there and stay there if you could just give a phone call i think phone calls are much better than texts because texts our messages are so less personal but um they they can help as well so that's what i have with, for us you know be mindful and um as Proverbs 29, 11 says, a fool uttereth all that is in his mind, but a wise man keepeth it in till afterwards. So that's what I'm going to say to us. Let's be wise. So even say somebody did something wrong and that's why something happened to them. I don't believe that the moment to say something to them is when they're grieving. Just wait until afterwards and then you can say something. So yeah, silence is golden. As everybody is going through something right now, you know, be there for each other and be encouraged. Thank you.